Hello guys, welcome to Intact Abode. In this video, we will be discussing what actually is column header and detail. So, in the previous video, we have discussed what actually is page header and title. So, we'll discuss what is detail now. So, I'll just click on the data set query. So, I have I have passed a query here and the query data is the query field names are been written here so here you must understand the concept of what is field names and parameters field names and parameters are completely different in understanding jasper reports so people get confused with this f names and parameter names so i'll just go in detail now so i'll just click on the outline so you can see my outline here yeah so here you can see the parameters so parameter names are by default like uh, i'll just show you an example so in jasper report parameter names are something like dollar and p capital and the field field parameter name something like this so this is set to be your parameter and the field name which returns your data set that's that seems something like dollar f and the field name field name something like this so this is your field so parameters can be passed at any point of your Jasper report which returns the string uh, from your Java application or you can pass uh, your parameters from Java application to your Jasper report so the parameters will be accepted in $p with the parameter name but when it comes to field names so we we must understand the concept of $f so $f is written with the, the data set of your query so i have passed so i'm just so i have passed my query here and this patient id is having this patient id and patient name are having n number of uh, reports depending on your data base so i have say around 200 to 300 records in my that database with the selected query so the patient id is a data set and patient name is a data set age phone number address so these are also known as field names as per the jasper report so i just so we must pass the field names only in the detail column so that the repeated number of values will be returned with the field names so i'll just click on field i'll just pass just click on the field names and drag and drop them here so here just forget what actually is column header right now so we'll understand what is the field name so you can see the dollar f name dollar f name dollar f dollar f and all. these are the field names which are supposed to pass only in your detail so that this returns a list of data of your query so i'll just click on horizontal vertical alignment so i'll just compile the program so you can see there are plenty of uh, reports generated with the name so these are the reports so i have nine pages here with some list of names so the field name should be passed in the detail band so that the, the details will be the data set of your past query will be shown in detail now we'll discuss what is header header is nothing but when you compile the program there are field there are field data set here but there is no nothing describing about what this field is actually about so this is id this is name this is age and this phone number and this address so we can specifically mention them like something like name 
right this is sorry this is id this is name and this is age and something this is mobile number and this is address okay something like this so I'll just compile the program so you can see the ID name age mobile number and address are displayed on the top and the reports are shown below so we'll make it a little bit more design way The good thing in Jasper report is that the uh, the columns or the field names or the parameters are shown with a border when you drag them. See, this makes your work a lot easier to adjust the columns. So this is the best part of Jasper actually. So I'll just make them horizontal vertical alignment. Bold. So this something like this. I'll just click on preview. So this is how. So I'll just give them some border. It be, looks more beautiful. Something like this. So click on preview. Something like this. So so this is the purpose of your detail band and uh, and column header so like just now explain so this is the main importance of your column header and uh, detail band thank you guys in the next video we'll be discussing what is actually column footer and page footer and summary thank you